To achieve this perfect classic wedding look, we need to make sure that the skin is thoroughly cleansed, toned and moisturized to produce an even canvas um, for you know the freshest and cleanest looking skin um, and to ensure that it's nice and smooth. I really like a few products. Um, Estee Lauder's cleansing lotion, light cleansing lotion and Dermalogica's multi-active toner and a moisturizer like Bobbi Brown's hydrating cream or for something a little bit lighter Estee Lauder's light hydrating lotion just gently massage that in make sure the skin's nice and clean pat dry and add dab a little bit of moisturizer on just allow that to soak in for a few minutes and then we want to prepare the skin with foundation and concealer to make sure we've got a nice pretty even skin tone now we're just going to dab a bit of foundation all over the skin and then just blend that in as thoroughly as possible making sure that we don't have any harsh lines around the face make sure that's well blended and buff some powder into the skin just a light dusting to make sure you get the right color just line up some product onto the side of the face and just just make sure it matches the color and then just blend nicely just dab a little bit of um, concealer under the eyes to make sure that they're not dark I really like the Bobbi Brown creamy concealers because you get really good coverage especially if you've you haven't been able to sleep the night before your wedding because you're too excited and this it's also great for any breakouts that you might get also another good tip to put on under the eyes is the Bobbi Brown eye bright and you only really need to use like a tiny tiny amount of this and it just really brightens up the skin under the eye area dot a few bits onto the darkest point under the eye and then you've just got to blend it all around the eye just ensure that's that's all well blended but the best way to do it is to warm a little bit of the padding the pad of your finger and just dab that on now i've chosen to go for a gold shimmer I think it's really soft subtle but it also got enough colour to kind of emphasise and define the eyes shape and just gently pat that in and then blend away and I just mixed it with a little bit of pink just to highlight just in the inner corner of the eyes and underneath the brow bone it just looks really pretty and works really well with the golds as well especially good for green eyes you can do any colours or anything you want but I've just chosen these colours because I think they're really pretty and natural my tip that everyone's using at the moment is to use like the eyeshadow as an eyeliner and this just gives a, a softer sort of effect and and it's great for natural weddings especially if you're not used to wearing a lot of heavy makeup and just looks really soft and pretty just gone for a darker shade of pink there adds a little bit definition and sparkle lucy's got a beautiful fat lashes so I've used bad girl lash to just really emphasize these sometimes what I also do is just add a few little false eyelashes just in the corners and just to really open out the eye area for Lucy's eye shape we've chosen not to but it's another tip that I use just to give a really pretty fluttery effect to the eyes 
I'm just using a MAC mineralized blush because it's really natural. Mineral makeup's really good if you've got oily skin or if you've got, um, you know, problem areas. It stops it from being too sensitive. And then just to give that extra little sparkle, I've just added a dab of, of highlighter. Um, it's just really pretty and sparkly. I mean, you can do all these things with uh, with matte products, but I would just love to put a little bit of sparkle in there for this look. And then just to finish it all off, a dab of, of pink gloss just really sets it off and, and finishes the look. And that's my natural wedding look. 